Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Panhandle Health, a bunch of tyrants, face mask mandates, and we're hanging out in their parking lot all day and barbecuing uh, since they don't want to answer to us. Also, guys, real quick, you can go check out uh, the Instagram page. Uh, we got Olight Flash Sale going on, and I'm going to be giving away this dude uh, for all to win. So check out the Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. Might take a while. Uh, win yourself an Olight Tac Light for the for the gun. So we're back at Panhandle Health. We're gonna walk in. We're gonna see if they have uh, the doors locked again. <clears throat> if you're locking people out, looks like people are starting to file in, ready to uh, hang out in their parking lot and barbecue until they're ready to uh, answer some questions and stop locking the door on the public. So if you guys are in the area. Come on by, get a hot dog, get a hamburger. Come hang out, right? All right, let me flip this thing around really quick. We're gonna check the door and see if they have it locked. Locked again. Operation hours. And they're not open. What do you think that would be, guys? Why do you think that they would lock the door on the public and not let people in to a public building? Locked again. People are ridiculous. So, public property, guys, right? This building, this area, this is all paid for by public taxpayer money. We pay for this. And now we're going to use it. Guess we'll just fire up some grills and uh, make a day of it. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna do, go do a walk. I imagine it's not gonna take too long before law enforcement shows up again. A oh boy Ryan showed up. Yes, sir. Lucky he made it. <laughs> he had a bunch of meetings this week, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, I'm off right now. Heck yeah. We got groups forming already, guys. Come on down. Might as well be here, right? If you don't agree with the mask mandate, you might as well be here. Let them know you don't agree with it. We're doing hot dogs later if you guys want to come over. And burgers. And burgers. It's honestly sad to watch, uh, to look over and see people standing there wearing masks. They look depressed. So noticeably less security. So I'm guessing that they uh, didn't realize we were coming this time. Josh from Oregon says, I have not put a mask on once this whole time. Neither have I. Uh, they will never get us to comply with the NWO, global banking. Everyone in Texas is wearing masks everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere, right? It doesn't matter what state you're in anymore. You know, if you're, if you're told to do stuff, you're told to do stuff. That's just how some people are. Man, I could wish I could be there, but I'm all the way out of Mississippi. Lone Wolf, we appreciate it, buddy. Damage Inc. says the same thing is happening Lincoln County here in Washington State. It's going to happen everywhere, guys. It's not going to not happen. Uh, in the in the fix, 
the fix is not doing it, right? The fix is not complying. The fix is refusing to do it. Who, who is this building? Panhandle Health, fantastic. They in charge of me? Absolutely not. Not a single person in this building has authority over me in any capacity. They might assume that they do because they might think that they have it, but they don't. And the problem is, is not enough people think like I do. I'm responsible for myself. I'm responsible for my own well-being. The people inside this building who collect a paycheck for what they do, would they do it for free? Would they be here for free? If they weren't getting paid, would they do it? Me getting paid, not getting paid, I'm not doing it. Period. Not wearing a mask, right? And that is what no compliance is about, guys, because the tyranny only works when you all comply. It only works if they trick you into following it, right? So you have to take a stand. You have to have it in you. And I can tell you guys too, it has an effect. There are people who have reached out to me and was like, hey, I saw you in a store uh, and I saw you were like one of the only people not wearing a mask, man. And, and it motivated me to just take my mask off as well. That family with those people, a mother and her kids who are walking in the store and all the other people are in the store wearing a mask, that puts a social pressure on them to do it. Whether they agree with it or not, they just don't have it in them to not comply. So you guys have to lead by example. You have to be the example. And you guys have to stand up for your neighbors show them non-compliance so that it is more comfortable for them to not comply. It's important to do. We have to lead by example. We have to be leaders in our community. These sheep, these cowards, they're leading by example, but they're just showing that they're cowards. They're just showing that they're weak. Be strength, guys. Show them strength, right? Don't comply. Looks like Casey Whalen's over here hanging out. Hey, if we see him come out that front door again, let's chase him over. What's that? If we see him come out that front door again, I want to go, I'm going to keep it open if they do that. Yeah, okay. I just tried it. I got one in the back door. It's like an employee entrance. I was this close to grabbing Nice, it. Dude. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Nice. <laughs> that might get me. <laughs> You got people over here hollering, right? It's very easy to put a mask on and then scream at people to put a mask on, right? But if we're talking about individual rights, we're not talking about we're not talking about public health and safety. It doesn't doesn't make you healthy or safe to wear a mask around. That science has been proven. None of these people can provide science that wearing a mask around all day is good for you. It's healthy for you. It's not. So what's about that? Well, it doesn't matter what it's about, guys, because if we are exercising our individual rights and freedom to do as we wish, because that is, that is the liberty that we are given, that is the liberty that was bestowed upon us, that is your right to do it. If you don't want to wear a mask, don't wear a mask. If you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. But we can't allow people collecting paychecks inside this building, we can't allow them uh, to try and force us into it because it's going to get worse. These masks, after everyone wearing masks doesn't work, it's going to be the vaccine and the vaccine is then going to be forced into you. Is that what you're waiting for? Are you waiting for the vaccine to then start fighting and pushing back? I would start now. For those of you on the fence who think, oh, it's not that big of a deal, just wear a mask, but you think it's a big deal that it's a vaccine, you might want to start now. All right, we got some people showing up here already, guys. Uh, it is, I don't even know what time it is right now, but there's people showing up early and on time.
So, so Casey, Casey has been trespassed from the property, which is public property. This is public access as well. So we're gonna move, we're gonna move the barbecue out here towards Casey. I guess the property line goes like right, right here in the sidewalk. So we're gonna kind of be over here and then see if that causes a problem. Well, this is your public right of way, no matter what, whether it's on their boundary or not. They can't divide it and say you can only walk on that half. Right, this is public grass. And that's a public building. We're gonna be here a while guys, come down. We got, uh, we got drinks, we got water, we got hot dogs, burgers, buns. Just come down and get you one. Come hang out, right? This is uh, the second day we've been here. They pretty much shut down the first day people were going home. Uh, they chose to not really conduct business, I guess, for some of them. So it's great. They got a response, right? They don't want to open the doors and let us in to get answers. So we'll just sit out here and continue to disrupt what it is they do day in and day out. So guys, come down and be a part of it. Come down and help out. Uh, this stuff only works when mass numbers show up. As soon as mass numbers start to show up, uh, they will start to understand that people are pissed off about their mandate. Food brings the masses. Yeah, you bet. Looks like media has showed up. That guy there is with CDA Press. I'm here in North Dakota. Just want to slip into the woods for a month. Wish I was in the area. If you guys are in the area, come be a part of it. People are getting cozy. It's fantastic. Hey from Indiana. How are you? <laughs> Welcome to the back of my truck. Hey, uh, so if you guys missed the, the first part of this live stream, uh, we're doing an Olight giveaway on the Instagram. Uh, we'll put a link in the description below. Once I'm done with this live stream, so you guys go over, check that out if you want to get in on it. Flash sale going on. Uh, get yourself a bunch of different lights. Uh, Olight sent us a whole grip of lights, but uh, we're going to be giving away this flashlight. This is a tactical light for your pistol. We're going to be giving it away, uh, so go check it out. Clarity says speak up and you will be the lightning rod attracting others absolutely guys and most of these cases uh, You know people are very pissed off about it, but they don't know who to turn to they're not organized um, They're looking for leadership right and so they need something to get started because they're willing to be a part of it But we need leaders in the community to say hey, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna be here uh, come out and be a part of it. So we're here guys. There's a big group of people here already at least 20 people here uh, already Come down be a part of it Jacob King says he deleted Instagram. Well, you're missing out on a light giveaway then man Tammy says hello from PA uh, So Sego man says, think it's bad now. Wait till a month prior to elections. Yeah, it's not getting it's not getting better, guys. It's not. It, things aren't improving here. They're they're going to continue. They got this mandate. They're going to continue. It's going to lead into vaccines. They're just 
developing your vaccine right now, trying to get it out. And as soon as that thing's out, you're gonna be told you have to take a vaccine. You are literally a herd of cattle to make other people money. Gary doesn't do Instagram either. You're missing out on the light. Ashley Adams says, hey. Reagan Riddle says, I'm 14 and my mom makes me wear a mask. What do I do? I don't know, man. Obey your parents, I guess. Um, Dennison One says, I got a dentist appointment at 1230 in Post Falls and I will be there right afterwards. Fantastic. We will get a hot dog in your freshly worked on mouth. Um, Silas Mercer says, y'all need some guns down there to put fear in them. That's what they need. We're on the verge of it anyway. We are on the verge of it. I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I'm not calling for people to bring guns down here to scare them. Pretty sure half this crowd's armed anyway. That's fairly standard for North Idaho. Kevin says, much love from Florida. Gloria says, hello from Southern Idaho. Snarf Salmon says, hi Chad, hello out of Swedish Forest. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Susie says, says, take the mask off. I, you know, take it off, leave it on. Guys, the issue is these people thinking they get to tell the masses what to do. These people are not elected. These, these people do not own me. Uh, and they're certainly not going to tell me to wear a mask. They're not going to tell me to wear a burqa. Uh, they're not going to tell me to wear anything. And it's pretty, it's pretty ironic that, uh, you know, people, you know, health and, you know, we got a, we got an officer coming. Uh, you know, the health district is going to deny the science behind masks and just push the mandate anyway. What does that tell you? They're going to deny the science behind masks to get you to wear masks. These people are not on your side. There is a bigger agenda going on. There is something more going on and you are just a puppet in the mix. You are, your strings are being pulled because they do not respect you. You want to wear a mask? Wear a mask. Don't tell other people to do it. Big Sky says, oh, I didn't know you were in Idaho. I'm going to contact my brother right now. He's just across the border, a little town called Hamilton, Montana. Uh, we're currently in, uh, I think this is Hayden, actually. Right next to Post Falls. All right, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna help get set up, uh, help get some things organized, and then I will be going live again here in a little bit. I will stick those links to the Olight stuff uh, down below. It is the flash sale going on right now, um, as well as Instagram. I'll stick that in there too, um, so that you guys can go over there and get in on the Instagram giveaway. I'm trying to boost my numbers on Instagram. Just started the thing. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Hit the thumbs up. Look for the notification on the next one.